My name is Sean Smith, and today I'm going to show you a little Hello World application with Gravian Native Image. So if you haven't used Gravian Native Image before, it's an ahead of time compiler for JVM bytecode languages like Java, Scala, Clojure, etc. Uh, and it can turn uh, applications that normally run the JVM into self-contained binaries that execute really fast, they start fast, use lower memory resources, uh, all kinds of great things, great for containerization. But let's look at the basics of Gravian Native Image. So let's go over to my shell here. And uh, I'm going to take a look at a small class I put together, hello.java. So we've all seen this before a million times. Simple, simple class, right? It simply prints out of, on standard output, hello world. So it turns out there's actually a lot of infrastructure behind the scenes in the JVM, JDK classes, and so on to do this. But let's let's compile this class. Let's use it like we normally would first, right? So Java, Java C, hello. Hello to Java, right? And we get a hello class, and we can run Java. Hello, and it runs, right? It seems really fast, because of course it is really fast uh, from a human perspective. But if I time that, we see it takes around 50 milliseconds, right? 50, 70, so, you know, in this range, right? So it takes a few milliseconds. Now, that's because the JVM is booting up. You're loading JDK classes. You're doing all kinds of uh, parsing behind the scenes. Uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, but let's take that same Hello World class and compile it along with the, the libraries and the JDK classes it needs into a self-contained binary. So I can use the, I'm going to clear the screen here. So I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to say native image. Use native image utility from GraalVM uh, and compile Hello. So it's going to go through. It's going to start at the main main entry point, so your main. Uh, and the native image utility will will basically uh, find all the code that you need uh, going uh, you need to support that call. Again, there's I/O, there's exceptions, all kinds of classes that are going to come into play that you do need to run this application. You just don't notice them uh, when you look at the code. Uh, so it's done that. It's gone through, figured out all the classes you need. In fact, it's figured out the classes. It's figured out the methods. It's figured out the fields. Anything you don't need that's in the JDK or any classes in your on your class path that you don't need are eliminated. They're not included in the binary you just produced. So let's take a look at this binary. Um, and oops, LH. And here's a little self-contained application I've built. It's 16 megabytes. Okay. And if I just do a LDD on that, we can see the library. So a bunch of libraries. So it's a Linux executable. Uh, I can boot that code with just hello, right? Same result as before, not very exciting. Uh, what if I were timing that to see how long it takes to run? Oh, two milliseconds. So as compared to the uh, the Java, if I just sort of skip back through my history here, so there's, there's a JVM time of about 57, 60 you know, milliseconds range uh, versus two. So basically 25 times faster. So this number of 25 times faster to boot, and really all we're seeing here is boot time. Not much is going on in this application. So you're not really seeing execution time. You're seeing the time it takes to boot up and start uh, doing something useful. Uh, in this case, 25 times is not much of a multiplier. We actually see a lot more typically, um, a much more up to 100 times faster boot time. So there you go. That's the basics uh, of Gravian Native Image. Um, it's fairly simple. Uh, it can get more complicated, obviously, but the basics are there. Take your Java classes, compile them ahead of time into native machine code, include only the classes you need, uh, create a very small self-contained package, great for deployment in containers, great for sharing if it's a CLI application. Uh, really great technology.